hello everybody in this video i am going to show you how to make any element resizable using jquery ui library uh, so this page i made here first of all i included my uh, custom style which is uh, for this uh, to do this is first do which class name is wrap you can see a wrap and i just give properties with height and border and this is another do which uh, which class name is resizable again with height and border and display inline block this doesn't matter i deleting this and this is custom style sheet uh, which i included here using link tag and this is jquery library which is a cdn of jquery and these are two jquery ui Uh, library which is first is theme and second is actual javascript file now the uh, i already explained you this with the one div tag is wrap and is child div is resizable and another is uh, tag is uh, i included is h1 for displaying the event of this uh, resizable and uh, i included script tag and in script tag i included uh, document dot load function and then uh, i make i made this uh, element draggable so you can uh, easily resize uh, from uh, from out the direction so let's add resizable here so for that simply include class name which is resizable in jquery function and dot resizable function save now you can see our object or element can be resized you can see here easily but did you notice that you can resize only from this two direction you can see here only two corners so you can't resize from this corner so you can add uh, the options in this resizable resizable function which is handles then option you can specify is north south west east now save and again you can you can resize from or for the corners you can see here all the directions using this option of jquery ui resizable now there are plenty of option here you can see in documentation api you can use auto resize uh, max width max height let's use max width and max height with this uh, element so let's uh, consider max height of this element should be 20 pixels and max width should be 20 pixel save this you can see uh, now i can't resize it more than 2 200 pixel you can see here now let's add same here <coughs> min width and min height you can see here now minimum width is 50 only 50 pixels you can also resize another uh, element with with this element means both you can resize at the same time using properties also resize and just pass the class name of that another element in this case this is wrap uh, parent do which is is dotted a, a so when i resize this you can see here this this parent element is also resizing you can see here using auto also also resize option now this is this was all about options you can see here the 
you can use this all options one by one at your own now let's move to events here I'm going to use these three events here so you can see difference in that so good let's add event here first event we are going I'm going to add is start event this event will be fired when resizing is started now to uh, to show you this event is fire I am using this head one uh, tag which is which displays a text that the event is fired you can see here now I am just using HTML method of jQuery and uh, start event is fired or you can see resize started save this as, I can, as you can see whenever I start uh, resizing this you can see here uh, the text is here resize is started now let's uh, add another event which is stop event this way event we event will fire when resizing is stop let's copy this pay code here resize stop now you can see when i resize this you can see resize started event is going on is started and when stop you can see here resize is stop and there is, there is one more event which is very important in case you want some extra uh, height you can access the height of this element which is a resize event this, this event is fire when actual resizing is going on You can see here now when I res see stopped and resizing element. You can also access the uh, height of this element means current height of this element or original height in drug function go to resize event and you can see here different types of this UI object contains different types of properties first uh, you can see here this original size of uh, the size repeated uh, before resizing is started this is original size we can you can access the original size of element and position of this element and size so let's access the size of this element resizing and let's see with and add ui dot size dot width now you can see here the width changing you can ex you can accessing this by uh, using this resize method here uh, event here you can also do same thing for height also you can see our width and height is now changing so there are so many options here you can use you can read and use uh, yourself and these are option also and events also and methods so thank you for watching good luck